Greetings YouTube, this is Mike Kaylee 7 coming to you on the commute home from my job on this beautiful January 10th at a balmy 43 degrees Fahrenheit I'm not complaining as you can see the traffic is pretty steady on the way home here hopefully this light will change at some point It's good to be back on the road, I tell you. Don't worry about that blinking light. There was a, oh my god, there's a blinking light. I can already hear it. Low tire pressure, because it's at 30. So I was a dumbass, and I didn't really check my tire pressure. It looked good, so I just went on the bike, but I'm alright. I'll fix it later. Hopefully you can see something. It is a very beautiful night. Not a cloud in the sky. I had no idea what speed I was going just then. Hopefully it wasn't too much. <laughs> oh well, I don't see any flashing lights so. Ah, well I had a, a good day for a Monday, although uh, we had a lot of technical difficulties at work, everything was alright, so, you know, when, when I was riding in the summer and the fall and, and my eyes were not doing so hot because you know dry eye and blurry vision and just feeling like I couldn't see down the road and, and just feeling kind of you know you know crying whatever and you kind of lose focus of the appreciation you get for riding you know you start thinking ah, maybe I'm done with this I don't think I am but maybe I am you know because I I've gone uh, as fast as you can pretty much go on this bike I've leaned over as hard as you can lean over and farther than that scrape the pegs scrape the engine guards And, uh, you know, started riding kind of stupid. The kind of riding you really should be doing on a track. And I thought, geez, you know, am I... Have I gone as far as I can go? And then it occurred to me, before my, uh, my fall on the mountain, that I should just dial it back and enjoy the ride. I don't have to have every corner carved like a street Rossi or something. I can just enjoy the ride. And it made me think, well, you know, maybe one of these days I'll get rid of the Kawasaki and I'll get a, a Harley. I'll get back in the Harley again and just kind of cruise. I've always liked the, uh, the Fat Bob. I've always found that bike a very attractive bike but I don't know how it would feel riding on it because I had a soft tail years ago but it was the different model the di different frame so I'd have to you know test ride one and see you never know but man that Kawasaki the speed of that thing is just whew. pretty much nothing can even come close to you when you're on a bike like that 
I don't care how much foot pounds of torque you have you're not gonna do very well against the Kawasaki ZH2 with the supercharger that is the most powerful bike I've ever owned but I you know all you can really do on a bike like that is is get in trouble or get hurt you got to be real careful so uh, you know I'll enjoy that bike as much as I can but I don't think I'll be keeping it too much longer because I don't want to hurt myself oh somebody's grilling mm. oh I missed that about the bike you can smell everything somebody's got a wood burning stove you smell it somebody's grilling something you smell it unfortunately when something dies you smell it but not in the winter it's one of the things I like about the winter what's going on over here well, somebody's burning plastic Ugh. two good things about the winter no bugs and no assholes. When I say assholes, I mean, you know those loud people outside blasting the music and screaming and yelling? They go inside when it gets really cold. You still have them now and again in the car with the thud thud stereo, but for the most part, it's quiet outside. Of course, I live in the semi-country, so it's not too noisy anyway, thank goodness. I have such an, a new, a renewed appreciation for uh, riding now that I'm able to do it again. It's my second, third ride of the year. Second ride on the Honda. And I've taken to it just like riding a bike. The skills come right back. But I'm really going to focus this year on just enjoying the ride. I don't have to go a gazillion miles an hour to have fun. Look at the sky. Oh, I wish you could see it the way I see it. It's beautiful. I'm telling you folks, life is too short. I lost my Aunt Janet a couple days ago died from COVID uh, a lot of people that I, that friends of mine have you know their family members a lot of people have lost people um, my uncle almost died but he's a fighter so he, he beat it but barely and uh Mike Markins, Sergeant Markins, he died in August of 2020. He got the COVIDs and then thought he beat it. And he said, I'm, I was feel, I'm feeling okay. And then like two days later, it was announced that he had passed. COVID's got him. So, and of course, heart attacks and strokes and whatnots. So you don't know how long you have. And you know, you have to enjoy yourself. So that's what I'm, I'm really learning here is, you know, when I broke my leg and I couldn't really do anything and I was cooped up at home and I'm thinking, geez, is this what old age is going to be for me? I don't want that. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, enjoy life to the fullest within reason. Part of that is riding as much as I can. So if there's anything you uh, want to ask me or whatever, want me to talk about something, let me know. Because it's been a while since I've been on the bike, so you might have questions or you might want me to spell it on about something. 
and I will be very happy to do that if you have anything. I'm back, baby. Look at that, I didn't even scrape. I did not even scrape. Could it be that Mike Haley 7 is actually becoming a responsible person? <gasps> Far be it for me to think so. Uh, home again. All right, folks, Mike Haley 7. You stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.